Hi everyone, good morning. This is Dan. Welcome to Angle Guys. For those of you that are new, welcome. For those of you that are returning, welcome back. For those of you that support me over on Patreon, thank you so very much for your subscriptions. They are greatly appreciated. Uh, this is the daily forecast. It is for all signs. It is a broad spectrum collective reading. You need to figure out if and where it fits in your life, if at all. Um, if it doesn't fit, that's okay. It doesn't mean anything is broken or wrong. It just might not be the reading at this time. Uh, the reading is originally created for Sunday, sorry, Saturday the 20th of May. It's not solely set for that date though. I do believe readings can be timeless and they can find us when we need them. So if you're seeing this on a different date and it makes sense to your situation, by all means utilize the reading. Um, for those of you that are new, please check out the drop down menu underneath any of my daily videos. In there is um, just some housekeeping rules, things I want you to think about when utilizing the channel, what decks I'm using in the reading, how to contact me via social media and follow me either at Instagram or my business page on Facebook. If you want a private reading, you would need to message me at either of those two places. Know that I will never initiate a conversation to sell you a reading, so you would need to reach out to me. If someone does ever hit you up and says they're me, it's not. Um, and also, easy ways to support the channel. Please hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel. Um, hit the notification bell so you get notified when I put up a new video. I do put up daily content, so... Um, and then share the video out, leave me a question or comment, say hello. All of that stuff is greatly appreciated and great to support the channel. I will be referring back to the Sunday underpinning reading. If you hear me talking about cards that you don't see in this reading, I'm usually going back to that reading because that is pulled on Sunday to look at the week as a whole, and then the dailies kind of build upon that energy. So. That video populates in the lower left-hand corner at the end of this reading if you want to watch it, just to get a better perspective on um, whatever I'm talking about. All right, so let's get into this and see what the cards and spirit want us to know for today. Interesting. The bottom of the deck of the clarifiers while I was shuffling, I saw temperance, which is, you know, Sagittarian energy and about balance, and then I just, um, at the bottom was the, uh, uh, tower when I just split the cards, so I'm seeing a lot of major arcana as I'm shuffling. We had a lot of major arcana in yesterday's reading. Let's see what the card is today. The King of Pentacles. So I like this because we just had the Taurus new moon, right? And we had the Hierophant yesterday, which was Taurus energy. The King of Pentacles would represent with the Earth signs. He would be about generosity, abundance, manifestation in the 3D world, feeling secure, grounded, in control, in authority of our lives, um, being discerning, kind of making decisions based on the well-being of not only himself, but everybody else involved. Um, this is a very stable energy, a very um, in-control energy. Um, if you're not feeling in control, the whole point of this reading is to let you know that you can be in control because the King of Pentacles is here to assist you. Underpinning this from the Sunday reading is the Nine of Pentacles, also Earth energy. And the Nine of Pentacles is about sort of abundance, but also independence, liberation, uh, being aware of the gifts or the, the attributes, the assets that we have around us and using them uh, for our own sort of liberation or freedom, right? Being appreciative of them. The King of Pentacles understands the value of everything that he has and what he can create. There's also a strong connection, I'm just, I mean, obviously with this card in particular, the art, there's a strong connection to the natural world or nature around us. And so we want to look to, you know, what's going on in the situations around us and then sort of sit in the middle of them uh, from a place of, you know, groundedness, solidarity, discernment, patience, generosity. Uh, that doesn't mean that we have to sell ourselves out, right? Or give too much or overgive. We have the capacity to provide for ourselves with this King of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. It's like the situation doesn't have to provide for us, a relationship doesn't have to provide for us, even a job or whatever it is that we're doing. Those things don't have to be what make us okay. This feels to me like we are what makes us okay. Our own ability to discern, our own ability to create, our own ability to manifest, to look at what we want, to connect to our environment, to the situations or relationships that we're in. And really, um, manipulate's not the word, right word, 
but really work with them in such a way that is productive, fruitful, um, empowering. We're also seeing a fair amount of masculine energy from yesterday's reading and from, you know, the King of Pentacles today. We also had a couple of knights the day before. The knights were influencing the reading. And so to me, I feel like these are cards of, you know, making decisions, taking action, but doing so from a place that's balanced, that's well thought out, that is practical, right? Um, not being impulsive today, especially with all of this Pentacles energy. And under this Taurus new moon, I'm all for it because it's definitely in alignment with what's going on astrologically with the moon. And, you know, new moons are about creation, setting new cycles, uh, setting our sights on new horizons or heading towards, uh, you know, new plans. The King of Pentacles would be all about that. He would be actually really adept at um, beginning to put a plan into effect to begin to create more abundance, wealth, uh, joy, happiness in our life. And with the Nine of Pentacles underpinning this, that should give us a sense of self-worth, right? That is liberating, freeing, um, um, allowing us, us to stand in our own independence and the awareness of that. Let's look at the Untamed Elemental card. Oh, we haven't seen this one before. B. I like B because the first thing that comes to my mind is like the hive mind, you know, and how bees work. They kind of speak... I don't know if it's telepathically, but you know how they kind of communicate as a hive, right? So, and the King of Pentacles is very much interconnected to his natural world around him. He's able to manipulate or create within that natural world very easily. And so, to me, B um, speaks to this idea of being tuned in to what's going on around us and how best to utilize whatever assets or situations or people how they're playing out in a way that's kind of in harmony with the greater whole, right? B is also, um, you know, they kind of create, um, they create honey, which can be a sweetness. And to me, the King of uh, Pentacles can also have that sweetness if we, um, uh, if we sort of ground in the knowing of who we are, what we deserve, the power we wield, that sort of a thing. Does that make sense? So there is like a harmony or a sweetness to these two cards being together. B is not part of the air, so is he, what is he, fire? This deck is a little different in how they... B is fire, interesting. So let's read B and see what he's got to say. I will say this, before I go into reading B, he looks very much focused on whatever this target is, this goal, and the King of Pentacles would be about creating goals and going after them, and the smile on his face, I don't know how well you guys can see that, it's very self-assured, very um, happy, like I feel that there's a compassion here, uh, like I said, that sweetness of the honey that the bee creates, we could be in the process of looking at that, uh, zeroing in on that, that's that yellow marker, that target, I feel like that bee is just centered in on and, and and the fire energy would also be sort of masculine action oriented desire energy that be is um you know uh, paired with in this deck so let me read b to you defiance she is the hymn of the flower fam family a social insect of intricate memory and impeccable taste physically speaking she should not be able to fly yet she defies the laws of aerodynamics winged magnet of nectar and holy diviner of ambrosia B bathes in pollen and spreads her message far and wide. B moves beyond her limitations, her life an object lesson in overpowering, overcoming the impossible. Often our life's momentum originates from the harsh pull, push of our fears rather than the magnetic pull of our dreams. When this happens, we succumb to our collective histories of limitation. B says that this is your time to express healthy defiance. Streamline your behavior to reflect where you're going, not where you've been. Sip sweetness from the flowers that speak directly to your heart rather than the ones you are drawn to by habit. And be, and, and like be, you will be magically upheld on a trajectory to success. Now, I'm just going to say before I read the other definitions, the King of Pentacles would be all about success. 
Um, so I kind of like these two paired together. The balanced version is sustained focus, joyful effort, and bold breakthroughs. The imbalanced version is fear of failure and bearing of hope. Mm -hmm. To bring it back into balance, if say you're feeling that fear of failure or bearing of hope, hold a boundary that protects the momentum towards your vision. Now, with the Nine of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles there, if we are holding boundaries or we've come across boundaries we need to put in place, today's the day to put them in place and um, they should be stable, strong, compassionate, and, and they'll withstand whatever's going on around us is my feeling. Yesterday's reading was kind of powerful with all of the cards that we saw and it felt like everybody coming to the table and when I was thinking about it, it gave me this sort of circle the wagons feel to it, like all of these major arcana cards showed up at the table to kind of show us the good, the bad, the dark, the light, and prepare us for facing down something that maybe we otherwise had been avoiding or not ready to look at. Today, these two cards to me feel like we're looking at it, we're staring it dead in the face, and we're actually, with that king's smile, we might even be enjoying the challenge or the um, embracing the change that we need to stand on our own two feet. That's the Knight of Pentacles, right? Let's go to the clarifiers. We have the Seven of Swords, the Four of Wands, and the Magician. Lots of yellow here. Interesting. Yellow, that yellow target in B, too. So, with B's emphasis on drawing boundaries, I think that there is a boundary that needs to be drawn because the Seven of Swords is here. The Seven of Swords indicates somebody that's maybe betraying us, lying to us, a situation that's not delivering to us, a truth that's not being told. There could be, you know, uh, something unfair in the midst. I think that we're aware of it. Um, I definitely get the feeling we're aware of it, especially with that King of Pentacles there and the way that he's staring at it. And then the Four of Wands would indicate celebration or coming back together. The Magician, to me, I think is the magic or the power of creation and manifestation that we need to connect to spirit. And like Because the Magician's phrase is, as above, so below, right? He holds that hand up. He has access to all of the elements, earth, fire, air, and water. And he kind of can bring down the manifestation or the power of spirit and put it to good use and good work. So I think that there's an opportunity here to transform something that is not to our liking. That's the Seven of Swords. And transform it into something that could potentially lead us to celebration um, with the Four of Wands here. Wands being fire and that bee being fire. It feels like that's maybe the target the bee is focused on, like drawing some boundaries around a situation that maybe hasn't been working for us, a person that hasn't been, you know, feeling right or up front or above board, and channeling our own sort of inner magician, king of pentacles, towards getting us there is going to be key in finding our way through this, beyond it, um, and on to something new, something that maybe we've created, that we want to manifest, that we desire, that is in harmony with us in our 3D world. I hope that makes sense. Let's get the grounding stone. Okay. It's on Tiger's Eye, and the word is forgive. So wherever we can find forgiveness in a situation, whether it's for a person, a relationship, a situation that's been bothering us or maybe not necessarily delivering with that Seven of Swords being present, that forgiveness, you know, whether it's forgiving ourselves for staying too long or for, you know, or forgiving another party, we free ourselves. That's the liberation of the Nine of Pentacles. And it is also sort of what I feel like opens us up to fly again, to create the magic of the magician, to create the manifestation of the King of Pentacles, to ground ourselves in a clearer, more stable um, sense of who we are so and what we need, and to speak up for that, right? And to, if we haven't been speaking up for it or saying it or, or acting upon it, 
this forgiveness allows us to let go of whatever's gone on in the past so that we can move towards the future or, or fly towards the future, or fly towards the sweetness, fly towards beginning to create the sweetness of life again in our world. Does that make sense? Because I definitely get a really good feeling from these cards, even though the Seven of Swords is here. It's because I feel like we're aware of this Seven of Swords. There's something that we've been aware of that hasn't been right for a while now. And now it's time to address it through creating our own, in, like by through forgiving it and then creating our own internal change. Uh, maybe putting the focus or the attention back on us and what we want and setting about putting that plan into motion um, to head towards that creation and celebrate it. I hope that makes sense, you guys. <laughs> All right, so that is your reading for the day. If you liked it, please hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. Um, share the video out, leave me a question or comment, and um, I will see you guys tomorrow. We'll see how the new weekly comes out and um, what we've got coming for the week. Have a wonderful day and take care. Bye-bye.